Hey folks, so I just wanted to give a review on this uh, Wohuda benchtop joiner that I've been using for a while now. Now, I know there's probably a bunch of folks who already clicked away at the mention of benchtop joiner, and, and I get it. If I had the space, um, I definitely would have purchased a full-size joiner. But the fact is, I don't have the space, um, I can't expand anymore, so this is it for me. Now. The reasons why I picked the Wahuda over some of the others was um, the cast iron table. The, the fence here is aluminum, extruded aluminum, and it's got some re reinforcement in there. But it also has, and I'll spin the camera around and show you, but it ha also has a support here and a support here that really keep it rigid. Um, you know, I'm putting a lot of pressure on here and it's not moving. And also it has, they call it a helical head. I'm gonna call it a segmented head, but it's, you know, it's, it's carbide segments. It hits the wood, the wood at a 90, not at a skewed angle. And um, to my understanding, helicals are, are um, you know, don't hit the wood at a 90, they're skewed a little. So that's why I'm not exactly sure if this is truly a helical or not, but. Those are, um, those are some of the reasons why I purchased this one. And truth be told, I had actually purchased the Riken or Riken um, 8 inch joiner. And then I saw a review by Sawdust and Splinters and canceled my order and purchased this one. And the reason why I did that was when she mentioned that this had a cast iron head and the other one, or not head, cast iron table, and the other one had an aluminum table. Um, I just felt it was better to go with the, uh, the cast iron. So that's how I ended up with, with this one. And I've, I've been using it for a few weeks. I've run um, walnut through it. I've run some white oak through it, some poplar through it, and it's, it's been great. It's cut everything great. And so far I feel pretty comfortable up to about 48 inches on here. I think I could do a little bit more, especially since these come, these extend on both sides, so it gives you a little bit more, and I can set up my rollers. But I think, I think, with some practice, I could probably do six foot. But you know, in reality, if I do big table glue ups, I have my hardwood lumber supplier um, joint my boards. And do I have a board laying around here? I have a board over here. When I have them jointed. I get S3S, but not traditional. the traditional S3S. So S3S is usually an edge, a face, and a face. But I have my supplier do an edge, a face, and an edge. And then I can run the other um, face through my planer. And I already have two sides that are ready to glue up. That just works better for me. And um, he does it for me, and that's what I do. But when I do make the bigger dining tables and I have to make wood legs, I can join the wood legs myself on here. Um, so that saves me some time and saves some money. And any end tables or console tables, um, I can join all that wood myself. And again, it just saves me time and money. Um, you know, to bringing it, especially when you don't plan for it and you realize, oh, I have to get something jointed and you have to bring it to anywhere to do it. You know, that takes time and it also take, you know, costs money. So I, you know, I think this is pretty good value for what it is. And speaking of, you know, value, I think this ran me about 550 um, with shipping and everything. So um, yeah, I think it's, it's going to pay off for me, and I like it so far. And I'll go over some of um, some of the other things I like about it, and uh, and I'll show it in action.
Okay, these are the little tabs that help support the fence. These are um, these are metal. Um, I think they're probably steel. And then there's one on the other side here. This is the knob here that lets the extension come out. And then these, this is all metal too. It looks like plastic, but it's metal. Um, this lets the fence slide forward um, in case you're cutting small pieces and you don't want to run over the same section of your blade every time, you can uh, slide the fence out um, so you can utilize the other end of your, your blade so it doesn't wear unevenly. And then here is the cutting heads. So there's three here and three here and another set of three and they're spaced differently so it's not in the same line this one only has two um, this one has two this has three again I think there's a couple of sections that have four um, but yeah that's 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 it and you know this is all metal it's pretty solid the only plastic on here is the dust chute and the, the knob covers, everything else is metal or cast iron or aluminum. So when I took delivery of this joiner, I did have to adjust the tables a little bit to get them in coplane. And it's pretty simple. These little tabs, these little plastic covers, covers just pop off. And then there's two um, Allen key screws in here that you loosen and then you go down here and this this one in the center here is the adjustment and um, I think I had to you start with the out the outfeed table and get it in coplane with the blade with the cutter head um, and I think I only had to move one side of this just a hair and then once I had this in coplane with the cutter head um, I coplaned this one to this to the outfeed to the infeed and this one was a little bit more I think I had to do this and you have to do a side at a time right so I did this these two at one in one shot and then once that looked good I came over here and did this side because when this side goes up this side goes down or if this goes down that goes up so it took like it took like three adjustments or four adjustments to get this all in coplane but it only took maybe 15 minutes to do it and I check it periodically and it's been staying true. The fence has been staying true to the table and I check that um, every few times I use it. So yeah, the adjustments were pretty easy. I'm pretty happy so far. And then to, to adjust the, your th cut, um, you unlock this and then you can move the table, the in-feed table down or up depending on how much you want to take off in a pass. I have it set to like less than a 16th and that's how I've been using it. And you saw me run that white oak through. That was seven and a quarter inches on, or seven and three quarter inches. So just about the full eight inches of this table on the face. And it took some pressure to get it through, but it cut it really nice. There was no chip out. Um, it was really smooth. So again, I'm pretty happy with it. Now, would I recommend a bench top joiner to someone who has space for a full size joiner? Yeah, definitely not. Um, I would always choose a full size joiner over the bench top, top joiner. Even if it, you know, if a full size one, you know, two grand, 2,500, this is only 500, I think it's better to save and buy that full size one if you have the room for it. But if you don't have room, um, I think this is worth the money um, just in the occasional use. Like I said, I use it, like if I have to make some legs for a bigger table and I have to true up the, the, the lumber, it's great for that. It's great for console tables. It's great for end tables. Actually, in my round table build, my walnut end table, I actually had chip out on, not chip out, it actually a piece of the, the top split and I had to joint a new piece to it and I just ran that piece of tabletop through the joiner. And it really would have been hard to do that on the table saw. I would have had to make um, 
a sled for it to run it through to keep it to keep it um, square so just in that time saved it's worth it so again full shop full size shop get a full size joiner but if you don't have space and you do do some jointing i think this one's worth it so there you go so i hope you found this information useful i don't usually do tool reviews but i felt this was a pretty obscure one you don't see many bench top joiners in shops so i thought it was worth giving the review if you see any other tools in my shop you'd like to have a review on just drop it in the comments uh thanks for watching